Tiki Tar Buddies, that was the Fall and Pat Trip Dispenser. Okay, so there seem to be quite a few guitar overdubs and parts on this. So I've broken it down as best I can into two parts, kind of concentrating on what seem to be the main riffs. There's one that I'm playing, which is... Basically, we're playing over an E7 chord. We've got the bass going from third to fifth to root, and... On that, I'm playing the seventh note, the D, the G sharp, and the D. So you get a nice kind of chunky sound there. So I'm playing five, six, five, uh, sorry, five, six, seven, sorry, of the A, D, and G strings. And I think it sounds like sometimes kind of catches the open B, maybe E string, so you can get. But it's just that kind of feel, that kind of stabby. It kind of comes in a little bit, but. But you've got a great, nice little bit there. And just boom, boom. And then just kind of releasing the pressure and putting some chukka chukkas in, as I like to call them. Chukka chukka. So. so we've got one guitar doing that kind of thing. And then the other guitar, I'm just, again, I think I'm combining a few guitars here, but I'm playing. So. So. Just doing a little. Again, we're, we're kind of over an E7, but I'm just bending slightly the G string as I'm playing it, whilst also hitting the, the B string on 12. So that G is kind of pushing up to G sharp, the chord tone. And then going to E and G sharp. So 12 and 12 to 9 and 9. So And just putting in the B and the E there as octaves kind of fill out that section. So I'm playing seven and nine on the E and D strings, and seven and nine on the A and G strings. So that second guitar part was kind of playing. And there's also another little bit that crops up, again, probably an overdub, but I'm just playing. Just a, a, a kind of a repeated bend from D to E on five. Bending to an E on the A string. Back, back into that. Okay. So that's the main bits that seem to be on the verse. And then this is a great breakdown section. So on one guitar I was playing. Okay, I'm playing. An E and an A sharp, on two and three of the D and G strings. Moving that down a semitone to D sharp and A. I just play the open D, G sharp, G, open one, one, and then a G sharp and C sharp together. One and two on the G and B strings. So you get okay, and that's going round and round. And the other guitar I was playing the first time it seems to be that it's a little scratchy, so it's hard to hear exactly. But playing F sharp and B on seven and seven, open B and E strings. Then four and five, D sharp and A to C sharp and G. So four and five to two and three. Then. So and then I'm going from that C sharp and G on two and three. Again, putting those open strings on. Two and an E and an A on five and five to get open strings. Then taking it up to seven and seven again where we started, F sharp and B, then to a G and C sharp on eight and nine. Then finishing it off with a coming back on that or whatever you want. It all works. Okay, great fun stuff. I say there's more little bits in there, but that's the main bits. And next we'll take a look at the bass. On the bass, I'm playing G sharp. 
to B, listen to E. I was just playing that on 6 to 9, sliding up to 14 on the D string. There's another little fill that comes in later where you go. So I'm playing E, E, F sharp, G, D, E. 14, 14, 16, 17. 12, 14. Okay. And then in the bridge section, I'm playing E, D sharp, D, G sharp, G, C sharp. 7, 6, 5 on A, 6, 5 on D, 6 on G. And the last time I played, Same first three notes, and then A, B, A, E, F sharp, E to lead us back into the verse. So seven, nine, seven. So, and uh, so in plain. So seven, nine, seven on the D string. Nine, eleven, nine on the G string. Then we're back into our main verse section. All right, and as always, thanks for watching, buddies, and happy Fall Friday.